Hello everyone, now let us discuss about Good Manufacturing Practices Guide for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients, Part 1. The primary objective of the presentation is intended to provide guidance regarding the GMP for manufacturing of active pharmaceutical ingredients under an appropriate system for managing quality. It is also intended to help ensure that APIs meet the requirement for quality and purity that they purport or represented or are represented to possess. In this manufacturing is defined to include all operations of receipt of materials, production, packaging, repacking, labeling, relabeling, quality control, release, storage and distribution of APIs and the related controls. And in this guide, the term should indicates recommendations that are expected to apply unless shown to be inapplicable or replaced by an alternatively replaced by an alternative demonstrated to provide at least an equivalent level of quality assurance for the purpose of this guide the term current good manufacturing practices and good manufacturing practices are equivalent that is CGMP and GMP are equivalent according to this guide that is good manufacturing practice guide for API manufacturing. This is not true in all cases. So in this session or in this slide we are defining the terms such as manufacturing and should what they indicate in the further session. Manufacturing is defined to include all operations of receipt of materials, production, packing, repacking, labeling, relabeling, quality control, release, storage and distribution of APIs and related controls. And in this guide, the term should indicates recommendations that are expected to apply. Should indicates they must be applied unless shown to be inapplicable or replaced by an alternative demonstrated to provide at least an equivalent level of quality assurance. And for the purpose of this guide, the terms current good manufacturing practices and good manufacturing practices are equivalent. Now we will discuss the points which are not covered in this guide. It does not cover the safety aspects of the personnel engaged in the manufacture nor the aspects of protection of the environment. These controls are inherent responsibilities of the manufacturer and are governed by national laws. And it is not intended to define registration or filing requirements or modify pharmacopoeial requirements. And it does not affect the ability of the responsible regulatory agency to establish specific registration or filing requirements regarding the API within the content of marketing or manufacturing authorizations or drug applications. All the commitments in registration or filing documents must be met. Now coming to the regulatory applicability. Within the world community, materials may vary as to legal classification as an API. When a material is classified as an active pharmaceutical ingredient in the region or country in which it is manufactured or used in the drug product, it should be manufactured according to this guide. Coming to the scope. This guide applies to the manufacture of APIs for the use in human drug products. It applies to the manufacture of sterile APIs only up to the point immediately prior to API being rendered sterile. I repeat, it applies to the manufacture of APIs for the use in human drug products. This guide is applied for the manufacture of active pharmaceutical ingredients in the human drug products and it applies to the manufacture of sterile APIs also up to the point immediately prior to the API being rendered sterile. That is before it becomes sterile up to that point 
this guide is applicable. The sterilization and aseptic processes of sterile APIs are not covered by this guidance but should be performed in accordance with good manufacturing guidelines for drug or medicinal products as defined by local authorities. And it covers APIs that are manufactured by chemical synthesis, extraction, cell culture, fermentation, by recovery from natural sources or by any combination of this process. Specific guidance, uh, guidance for API manufactured by cell culture and fermentation are described in sex, section 18. This is important point. Specific guidance for APIs manufactured by cell culture and fermentation. Cell culture or fermentation are described in section 18. And this guide, it excludes all vaccines, whole cells, whole blood and plasma, blood and plasma derived and gene therapy APIs. They are not included here. However, it does include APIs that are produced using blood or plasma as raw materials. Note that cell substrates, it can be either mammalian, plant, insect or microbial cells, tissue or animal sources include transgenic including transgenic materials and early process steps may be subject to gmp but are not covered by this guide in addition it does not apply to medical medicinal gases bulk packed drug products manufacturing and control aspects specific to radio pharmaceuticals they are not included here the next is section 19 contains guidance that only applies to manufacture of APIs used in the production of drug products specifically for, for clinical trials that is investigational medicinal products. This is also important point. Section 19 contains guidance that only applies to the manufacture of APIs used in the production of drug products specifically for clinical trials and an API starting material. What is the definition of API starting material? It is a raw material, intermediate or an API that is used in the production of an API and that is incorporated as a significant structural fragment in the structure of the API. Uh, this is a little tricky. Active pharmaceutical ingredient starting material api starting material active pharmaceutical ingredient starting material it can be a raw material an intermediate or a different api itself that is used in the production of one particular api and it is incorporated as a significant structural fragment in the structure of the api an api starting material can be an article of commerce a material purchased from more one or more suppliers under contract or commercial agreement or produced in-house. It can be any of this. And normally have defined chemical properties and structures. API starting materials, they normally have defined chemical properties and structures. The company should designate and document the rationale for the point at which production of API begins. The point at which production of API begins should be designated and documented by the company. And for synthetic processes, this is known as a point at which API starting materials enter into the process for other processes. For example, fermentation, extraction, purification. This rationale should be established on a case by case basis. For synthetic process, this is known as a point at which API starting materials enter into process such as fermentation, extraction, purification. The rationale should be established by case by case basis and table one that we will discuss in the end of the session gives guidance on the point at which API starting material is normally introduced into the product. It will provide 
at which point the api starting material is normally introduced into the process that process can be either fermentation extraction purification etc and from that point on appropriate from that point on appropriate gmp that is nothing but good manufacturing practices as defined in this guide should be applied to these intermediate and or api manufacturing steps and this would include the validation of critical process steps determined to impact the quality of the api so validation is also included however it should be noted that the fact that a company chooses to validate a process step does not necessarily define the step as critical so each and every step that has been validated need not be a critical step and validation of critical processes steps determines the impact of the quality of the api however it should be noted that the fact that company chooses to validate a process step does not necessarily define that particular step as a critical step in general since the production since from that starting point all steps are validated they can be either critical or not critical but the critical steps would determine the impact of quality of the api and this guidance in this document would normally be applied to the steps shown in gray in the table one they are covered with gray gray color that is that is the point at which the process starts or api enters the production it does not imply that all steps uh, steps shown should be completed this is also important it does not imply that all steps that are shown should be completed and the stringency of gmp in the api manufacturing should increase as the process proceeds this is an important point the stringency or strictness of good manufacturing practices in api manufacturing should increase as the process proceeds from early api steps to final steps purification and packing and the physical processing of apis such as granulation coating or physical manipulation of particle size for example milling micronization should be conducted at least to the standards of this guide and this gmp guide does not apply to steps prior to introduction of defined api starting material this guide does not apply to steps prior that is before to the introduction of the defined api starting material here you can see this is the table application of this guide in the api manufacturing material this gray point gray color indicates that introduction of api starting material into the process these are the types of manufacturing for chemical manufacturing introduction of api starting material into process starts at second step and this guide will include guidelines from this gray point it will not include the steps prior to the introduction of api starting material from the process that is in chemical manufacturing this guide does not include the production of api starting material it only includes the guidance from the introduction of this api starting material into the process then production of the intermediate isolation and purification physical processing and packing and the stringency of a uh, gmp requirements increases as the process proceeds from the introduction to the final steps of packing and in api derived from animal sources the step starts from third step so collection of organ fluid or tissue and cutting mixing and initial processing are not included in this guide it includes from here introduction of the api starting material into the process isolation and purification physical processing and packing and similarly api extracted from plant sources this also starts from here the gray area and herbal extracts used in api it starts from further extraction and for api consisting of comminuted or powdered herbs this will include physical processing and packing only not the before steps and biotechnology or fermentation or cell culture 
includes from maintenance of work working cell bank cell culture and or fermentation isolation and purification physical processing and packing and finally classical fermentation to produce an api here the gmp requirements are start from introduction of the cells into fermentation and as the steps proceed further stringency of good manufacturing practices increases thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on pharmaceutical sciences and other related disciplines